on YouTube. This is me, Aisha. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Um, today's is going to be it's a very quick video. I wasn't even planning on doing one. It's really late, but um, it's something that I want to share with you guys. I've been doing a lot of do-it-yourself projects lately, and it was one that I did that I that I did film, but I don't know. My videos have just been disappearing. I think I've been erasing them because I get kind of flustered when I have so many on there. And I erased it. And I'm so mad because it was like a really good video on how to do this project. But I said I'm still going to share it with you guys because, you know, that's what I do. That's, that's what my channel is for, to kind of share what I'm doing and to let you guys know. I'm not going to keep it a secret. I'm going to let you know what's up, right? So I did a, I did a um, purse. I studied out a purse. And this is the purse. Now, the purse looked very plain. Okay, at first, and this is what I did to the bottom. I put studs all on the bottom. Yes, yes, yes. There was nothing on the bottom, and I put studs on the bottom, and I put two studs right here on the side. So, I was, I was kind of, it kind of took me a few days to do because it, it is very time consuming, but it is worth it. It's nothing better than originality. It's nothing better than, um, having your own style when someone asks you where you got it from you can say i made it you know and i'm very pleased 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 with the purse it is very cute if you guys can't see it on but very cute um this purse i like the fact because i, I brought it up on the side so you know you really you really see it and we all know the studded bottom bag is in right now um i think it was alexander wayne or i'm not sure somebody one of those fancy designers um has been all over the place you know, and, um, yeah, and they're pretty expensive, you know, they're pretty expensive, and I did mine myself, and I love it, I'm going to do another one, so if you guys do want to see how I do, um, like this purse and more DIY videos, videos, please just, you know, like this video, and then I'll know that you guys are interested in seeing, you know, this, because I'm going to do another one, I want to do a black one, and then I have another purse that I want to do a mixture of black and, and silver. So I love my purse. I really do. I really, really do. It's super cute. Super cute. And um, so the studs. Where I got the studs, I got the studs from a place called Studs and Spikes. Um, this, it, these are the studs. This, this camera does not focus. I hate that. But these are the studs. And the size are the standard English 77. Um, these are the... Um, I, ha I used 118 studs all together. I ordered 150, so I still have some left over that I'm probably going to be doing some things with. Um, but I will put all the links below of, like, where this purse was just a purse that was sitting around. My cousin actually had got rid of it. She didn't want it, so it was actually a free purse. Now, you can always go to a um, Goodwill. They have very nice purses there, you know, that are some that are very gently used. And you can go ahead and pay, you know, about 4 or $5 or even cheaper and go ahead and kind of like turn it into a DIY project and then add studs and all type of detailing to it to, to kind of suit your, you know, your style. And um, that's kind of what I did. And I'm, I'm just, this, this purse is really cute. I love it. I love, love, love it. It took me some time and basically what I did is I went inside the inside and I cut the lining open you know on the seam so when I do sew it back together it doesn't look so bad but I cut it on the seam and then I just went through the bottom and kind of like I use a knife I use a knife to kind of poke little holes um and I and I really didn't like measure it out after you do about 10 of them you kind of get the feel of where you're going because you've done the same pattern over and over and as you guys see I started with one it branched off the two and it was three all the way down so it got to the other end and I just kind of you know use the ones as guide use these as guides and it's really easy it's really really easy it just takes a lot of time but hey it's worth it it's absolutely worth it to have something that is yours that you made so um I want to put the link to studs and spikes down below and also the link to these um they have a lot a lot of nice things on there they have pyramid um studs and they just have everything on there. I kind of lost my mind. I'm going to be placing an order for some more things because I just could not get enough of what they had. And I just, my mind kept, kept my wheels, creative juices got going and wheels start turning when I seen all they had and kind of lost my mind. All right, so um, for the hair, um, I did a tutorial on how I got this hair. I still am rocking the curly hair, the, you know, soft curl hair. It's lasting a couple of days. Um, 
sometimes I may get up in the morning and I may put a, um, I'll usually at night, I'll just go like this, you know, twirl it up and put a pin curl right here on both sides. Just put a pin curl and I don't really have to put heat to it. But every blue moon, I'm, you know, I may have to put some heat to the hair. And also, um, not a lot of heat, just um, a little bit because I slept on it and I just put a bonnet over my head and I'll do the little pin curls in the top and then I use my satin foam rollers by high pair in certain areas like right here I'll put one tonight because it's just like really loose you know and um you know and I'll see ones that are really and I'll put more put some right here in the crown so it could be kind of you know volumed I volumed up and I'll scrunch it up and it's just a really easy hairdo a really really easy hairdo I love it I absolutely love this hairdo. It turns out it's really pretty. It's one of those hairdos you can run your hands through and kind of push it and then it just falls in a beautiful, beautiful way. And it's just really, really nice and um, it's very easy and I like it. Um, but I'm going to be switching it up again because I'm getting kind of bored. And, um, you know, I kinda, I'm kind of i probably one of those girls who kind of wear her hairstyle according to what she's wearing or, you know, you know, certain hairstyles look good with certain fits, so I'm getting ready to switch it up because it's raining and, you know, I'm just going to put a wig on. I'm getting ready to make me a wig or something. So, um, yeah, that's what I've been doing to, with my hair and also the link for how I got these beautiful soft. These are holiday curls because I think it's perfect for holidays. Um, it's going to be down, linked down below. I'm tripping over my words, y'all. I'm so tired. I don't know what to do. All right, so I showed you guys what I came to show you. If you guys have any questions, like you guys know, you can always just leave me a comment below or, or send me something to my inbox. I'll always be happy to answer as soon as I get them. And like I always say, you guys, stay blessed, stay beautiful, but always stay you. And you guys have a happy holidays because Thanksgiving is coming up. And I want you guys to enjoy your turkey day, okay? Deuces.